What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, first of all, thank you for your kind comments regarding the last upload. That one was about the poll for the best uh, Linux distribution for Windows users. Once again, congratulations to the winner, Linux Mint. Uh, tweaked, eked out a win, but really congratulations to both Linux Mint and Zorn. Uh, that's one of the few uh, videos I've done where I turned on the webcam. It, the, the production was not up to my quality standards. Some of you have asked to do something like that, and I did. But I've always wanted to do these more uh, with a you know quality, higher definition camera, a nice uh, lapel microphone, a couple of large, uh, big soft lights. But you know, for those of you who have kid or kids and family, it seems like life always gets in the way. But if you would like to see more videos like that, even though they're not quite up to my um, quality production standards, if it's good enough for you then certainly it's good enough for me. Thank you once again for your kind comments. Now getting to this video here, this is a commentary uh, slash rant. I don't really do a lot of rant, ranting videos, but uh, first of all, this is from Netrunner OS, a very good Linux distribution. So if you are a Windows user or are a Linux tinkerer and would like to try something new, check out the latest from Netrunner OS featuring the KDE desktop, a very polished KDE desktop. I, I thought it looks pretty slick and I'll have uh, links below in the show notes if you wanted to try this. And This is from the Netrunner magazine. This is concerning an article that I looked at briefly, uh, was it last week when I did a review of the latest Netrunner. It says Wayland versus Mir. Now one of you commented that uh, this was an editorial mistake. It's been edited. Uh, I, I don't think it, it was a mistake. I think they meant what they said. I think if they did the right thing in correcting the wording of this. But let me read this real quick here. This is Wayland versus Mir. Exciting doesn't necessarily imply good, it merely implies not boring. Uh, while the fight between Canonical and everyone else heated up at the end of this year, the next one should bring a closure to it. Canonical has postponed the, con the inclusion of Mir into Ubuntu until, let's see, 15.04. While it's expected that KDE will fully support Wayland by mid-2014. It's very likely that there will be at least one version of Kubuntu running on top of Wayland. Moreover, Kwin's main developer has warned that he will not support Mir and will veto any patch to mainstream. Uh, just a bit more. It seems very unlikely that both can succeed in reaching mass adoption. Probably one of them will prevail over the other. Okay, there was a sentence here that I got a, I got a laugh at, and I thought it was a bit harsh. But it was something like, "For the benefit of the Linux community, one of them has to die." And I cracked the joke, saying, "Man, you guys in Linux are vicious." I'm going back to my Windows 7 safe house, and I let it go. But there was an update to this. Thank you to that person who commented. But here, here's the thing. I think they meant what they said. I think they made the right decision in edit, editing that phrase or that statement but as a Windows dual booter between Windows and different versions of Linux I don't get it maybe it's me because you know I come from a Windows background and then you know going into Linux first with Ubuntu and then it seems like everything else but this is a bit ridiculous Wayland versus Mir to me the best one the better one is just the one that freaking works you know with Linux I don't mind tinkering with things and trying to solve a puzzle trying to find a solution to a minor problem and then a sense of gratification once I find that solution because the the payback with Linux is still the same as it is uh, as it is with really probably all Linux di distributions and the edge they have o over Windows and that is not having to worry about viruses spyware and not and less maintenance such as defragmentation the downside is if there's a big bug or something doesn't work and then you have to go out and find a solution if, if there is a solution and I don't want to spend all day trying to solve that kind of a puzzle but that's strictly my opinion and my commentary about this as far as Wayland versus Mir which is the best one honestly guys I don't know from me as a dual booter the best one is the one that just plain works and that's with any piece of technology whether it's in Linux, Android phones, Windows, the best one is the one that just works. That's my opinion about this. Let me know what you guys think. Post your comments below. Uh, some of you may know which is better or have a clue. Please let me know. 
I'm kind of curious about this. Well, that's all I have for this commentary. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.